Aside from some information on our previous video, there are still some things you need to know about them. Head. The rabbit's head should be rounded and full, not pear-shaped, with a short neck making the head set close to the shoulders. Ideally not more than one and a half fingertip widths of the index and middle fingers should fit between the base of the head and the beginning of the shoulders on a senior animal, one over six months of age. The ears should be stocky, wool-furred, and carried erect. They should be in proportion to the size of the head and body of the rabbit. The eyes should be bright and clear, free of spots or discoloration in the iris. The color of the iris must be the same in both eyes and must match the color specified for the variety. For example, a black, chocolate, gray, steel, or tortoise dutch must have dark brown eye color. It is permissible for the chocolate dutch to have a ruby cast to the eyes. A blue dutch must have blue-gray eye color. Any other eye color or eyes that are too light in color would be a disqualification. Markings It can be said that the dutch rabbit is a white rabbit dressed in formal attire. It is the classic markings of the dutch breed that make it the aristocrat of all show rabbits distinguishing it apart from any other breed. The proper placement, shape, colors, and balance of these markings in combination with excellence in general type are the discriminating features that separate the Dutch show rabbit from the general population of its breed. Anywhere that colored markings meet the white the point of joining is always to be clean, straight and crisp with no ragged or wavy lines and no drags where colored portions are drawn into or laid over what should be white. Drags can also occur at places where the white color runs into or over areas that should be colored. Anywhere a colored area meets a white area the point of the meeting is called a line. Lines must always be straight and even unless naturally curved such as the line of the checks as it follows the jawbone, but even then the line must always be even and smooth and absent of irregularities or drags. When they are not it is called a fault. Straight lines are called biased when they fail to follow the contours of the body at 90 degrees to the center line of the torso or appendage. In other words, a bias line is a line running diagonally across these body parts but is otherwise straight. An offset is a line that fails to maintain straightness in its course from one side of the body or appendage to the other. The offset line creates a jag where the line coming up from one side fails to meet the line coming from around the opposite side of the body or appendage. Curved lines like those forming the cheeks, must meet different standards of perfection that are usually specified by a specific part of the skeletal or other anatomical parts of the body they follow. The shape of the curve these lines make is specific to the standards for perfection. When they fail to follow these standards they are considered faults. All faults count against a rabbit's total points score during judging. Care requirements Dutch rabbits are one of the oldest domestic breeds around, so you can be sure that they love to be outside their enclosure whenever possible. They will happily run and jump high into the air when they are out of their hut, especially if they are outside with some soft grass beneath their fuzzy little feet. Like most rabbits, they will live a long, healthy life so long as they are given plenty of outdoor time and fed a diet of 70% hay and the rest is a mix of pellets, fruits, and vegetables. However, some fruits and vegetables can pose a danger to their health. Unless you've researched the fruit and vegetable and are sure it is safe to feed it to them, the rule of thumb is simply not to feed them if you are unsure. Some food that can be dangerous to your rabbit include seeds from fruits such as apples and pears, they contain tiny particles of cyanide and despite being harmless to humans, they can hurt your rabbit. Bark and cherry tree twigs should be avoided, as well as rhubarb, and mushrooms. Their enclosure could be indoors or out, weather and temperature permitting. Rabbits do not do well in extreme heat and most do not do well in the cold, so always be aware of outdoor conditions before letting your rabbit spend time outside. Their enclosure needs to be clean and dung-free. If there is hay bedding, always be sure to clean it at least once every other day. There is an age-old question when it comes to the domesticated rabbited, why are enclosure versus bedding? Rabbits prefer bedding because it is easier on their feet and more comfortable while humans prefer to have wire-bottomed enclosures because it is easier to clean, however it is harder on the rabbit's feet. With a wire-bottomed enclosure, their excrement simply falls through the wire and onto a removable bottom that owners can easily change while with bedding, you'll have to go into the enclosure and clean it out, which is more time-consuming. In the end, the decision is that of the owners but if you want a happier rabbit, make or purchase an enclosure that has a hay bottom. It may be slightly more time-consuming to clean out their waste, but the result will be a rabbit that is comfortable with their enclosure and is less strenuous on their poor legs. These should be cleaned out thoroughly once a week, while droppings should be removed daily. Health Unlike most animals, rabbit teeth never stop growing. Thankfully, they are also constantly being worn down by everyday activities such as chewing their food and grinding their own teeth. If for some reason your rabbit's teeth are not being worn down, their overgrown teeth may start growing into their jaw and face, causing severe pain and discomfort. 
Signs of overgrown teeth or an infection due to overgrown teeth include loss of appetite, slugging activity or drooling around the mouth. Be sure to check your rabbit's mouth often for signs of overgrown teeth and bring them to the vet if you suspect they have an infection, as it can be treated with antibiotics and veterinarians can also fix their overgrown teeth problem. Female rabbits can be spayed when they are as young as 4 months old, however, vets tend to wait until they are 6 months old. Male rabbits are eligible to be neutered as young as 3 and a half months old. All rabbits should also be given worm prevention treatment and checked for ticks and fleas regularly. Temperament these little guys absolutely love to be out of their enclosure and into the world. Due to their gentle nature, they do well with children so long as they are handled carefully and have enough time out of their enclosure to become social animals. Should they spend too much time in their enclosure, they will become depressed or bored, especially if they have no companion rabbit with them. They are wonderful first-time pets, as they are relatively low maintenance so long as you provide them with essential items to keep them safe, healthy, and happy. Because they are such sociable animals, they are also good pets for couples and seniors, so long as retirees are able to physically tend to the rabbit's needs which includes feeding them, cleaning their enclosure and etc. Rabbits take on a completely different approach when it comes to training. Activities that humans would deem unacceptable such as urinating in the corner or scratching up your carpet are completely natural to them and you must understand this before trying to train any kind of rabbit. They are also not children and that you should not punish them if they do something unpleasant, as this will get you nowhere with training. Instead, you should only reward them with a treat when they complete something successfully. Never yell or shout at your rabbit when you become frustrated that are not as obedient as you would like them to be, as rabbits will consider you the enemy and may become aggressive or dislike you and absolutely refuse to participate in any further training. Owners much approach rabbits with an extremely patient mindset in order to train the rabbit to do anything from potty training to tricks. The Dutch rabbit breeds are the small and unique rabbit breeds. These new breeds can be used for several purposes like, they can be used as pets. These are also used in pet shows, which attract people a lot. Many Dutch rabbit breeders throughout the world have a business of these breeds and also use them for trade purposes. So, we must also take care of these breeds if we want to make good use of them. Dutch rabbits are known for their gentle nature and kind disposition. This makes them well suited to being kept as a family pet. Many families choose to create a large outdoor run for their rabbits, where family members can interact with rabbits without picking them up. Other families allow their rabbits free run of the house. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.